How do you like your coffee? That's the question of the day. In this video, I will show you my five favorite ways to drink coffee. But first, let's talk about how much coffee we drink. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Alexandra. Welcome to my channel. Now, let's get started. According to the latest study, there are around 1 billion coffee drinkers worldwide and over 2 billion cups of coffee are consumed every day. In 2021, around 175 million 60 kg bags of coffee were produced in different parts of the world and about 166 million bags consisting of 60 kg of coffee were consumed. That's a lot. So, what is coffee? A coffee drink is made from roasted coffee beans that can be more than 120 coffee species. But the two main species used for global coffee production are the Arabica and Robusta. The world's largest coffee producer is South America, particularly Brazil, producing more than 77 million 60 kg bags of coffee. Drinking coffee is part of people's daily routines. It can be consumed at any time of the day, but usually it's consumed during breakfast. Currently, our global population is 7.98 billion, and among these numbers, 12.6% love to drink coffee, equivalent to 1 billion people. Every single day, 2.25 billion cups are consumed around the world. Coffee can be served hot or cold, and in different forms such as Americano, Espresso and Cappuccino. Among all countries around the world, Finland has the highest coffee consumption per person. An average Finn can drink up to 12 kilograms of coffee annually. After reading that, I checked how much coffee I drink. I did some calculations based on my coffee purchases and it turned out that I only drink 7 kilos of coffee a year. And I thought I drank a lot of coffee. Anyway, here are my 5 favorite ways or types, if you like, of coffee that I drink. I will show you how I make each one. The first type of coffee I drink is bulletproof coffee. Bulletproof coffee is known as a keto drink, but I'm not on the keto diet. I tried this coffee once and it tasted good. Then I did not drink it for years. Last year, when I started intermittent fasting, bulletproof came back. I drink it in the morning when I wake up very hungry. My first meal is around 10-12 am and bulletproof coffee helps with morning hunger. It is very easy to make. We mix unsalted butter, MCT oil or coconut oil and coffee. I always use virgin coconut oil. To make my bulletproof coffee extra smooth, I use a milk frother. The second type of coffee I drink is simple black coffee, like this one.
Black coffee is the type of coffee I drink most. On average, I drink 3-5 cups of black coffee a day. I'm a person for whom coffee helps with almost everything. Lack of ideas? I need coffee. Problem to solve? I need coffee. Something nice happened? I need coffee. Something bad happened? I need coffee. I think I'm not alone in this. The third type of coffee I drink is soy latte. Soy latte used to be the coffee I drank all day. I always used unsweetened soy milk. I'm not a barista, but I try to make this coffee in the same way as in coffee shops. Of course, this is my home version, so it doesn't look too fancy. Why I have stopped drinking it all day? Since I started intermittent fasting, I have stopped snacking and eating between meals. I eat two meals a day and if I want a soy latte, I make it right after the meal. about the cat situation. I hope you know the drill. If the cat is in the armchair, the human has to sit somewhere else. The fourth type of coffee I drink is affogato coffee, also known as coffee with ice cream. Affogato coffee is more of a dessert than a coffee, and I treat it as such. In the summer I make it more often, but I definitely do not eat, drink it every day.
The fifth type of coffee I drink is Irish coffee. And with Irish coffee, I have to give you a warning. This is not a type of coffee you can drink every day before work or before driving. Why? Because Irish coffee contains alcohol, specifically whiskey. The recipe for Irish coffee I use is one I found when I lived in Ireland. We start by making coffee. Then we add two spoonfuls of brown sugar and stir well. The finishing touch, whipped cream. Now it's time to add a shot of whiskey and cover coffee with whipped cream. Do not mix cream with coffee. Irish coffee should be served looking like a pint of Guinness beer. Later, you can mix it. I don't know if you want to try Irish coffee, but if you want, I can give you one advice. If you don't have alcohol drinking skills like me, stick to one Irish coffee at a time. One time in my life, I drank two Irish coffees in one go. I was on holidays, I was on Tenerife, and I stayed in Puerto de la Cruz. I went to a restaurant, it's in the center of the town, it's called Pomodoro Restaurante. It's a fantastic place, they have great food, and the location, it, the restaurant looks like it's built in the rock, but it's actually it's built on rocks, with rocks. But the location is amazing, when you see it on the restaurant patio, you see the ocean, so it's the view to die for. I ordered margarita, uh, pizza margarita, and uh, it was delicious. And after that, I checked the menu, I saw they have Irish coffee, so I ordered it. It was the best Irish coffee I ever drank, so I ordered another one. That was a mistake. I, I wasn't drunk, I didn't black out or anything like that, but on my way to the hotel, which was 15 minute walk, I stopped every single person I was passing by. Why? 
because I wanted to share my joy, my happiness that I'm on Tenerife. I ate good food and uh, well, so this 15 minute walk took me two hours. And yeah, I probably annoyed a few people on that day. So I learned my lesson. Now, if I drink Irish coffee, I stick with one, no matter how good it is, just one. So if you like me and you also don't have, you know, skills to drink heavy alcohol, stick to one Irish coffee. You will still enjoy it, I promise. So those are my five types of coffees I drink. If you like that video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content I create. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.